Good morning. It is day 15 on the PCT, and we started the day with a mellow, like, thousand foot ascent, and now we're going downhill a little bit. Uh, we got to test out our new water filter this morning. The one that we had before was super slow. The new one uh, is amazing. Quite as satisfying as climbing in the sun for a while to the top of the pass and then going over it and it's shady and cool and you're going downhill. <sighs> the water filter we were using, the Sawyer Squeeze, very popular amongst backpackers, hikers, through hikers. Um, the only problem is it can get very clogged so you, you you filter water by pushing it through this way. It can get very clogged and you have to keep up with back flushing it this way. Um, only problem is we didn't bring the plunger to back flush it and it's pretty hard to back flush it. A lot of people just use a sport cap and back flush it that way. It's kind of difficult to get good pressure that way. So our flow rate was really slow and it was just slowing us down. It took us like 30 minutes to filter a few liters of water. But this is good for 100,000 liters, and this is a liter right here, so 100,000 of these. Our flow rate was so slow and just slowing us down so much, we decided to upgrade to the Platypus uh, Quick Flow or something like Quick, I forget. Uh, similar concept, you just uh, filter your water through here, comes out of here, and it's much faster so far. Um, the only problem is it only has a lifespan of a thousand liters, which should last us through this hike. But I've also heard that the flow rate can slow down on these as well. So we're going to hold on to this for now. I'm going to try back flushing it in other methods, maybe find a plunger to back flush it properly. But, but yeah, the new one is much faster. and way better to use. The trail since getting back on at Stevens Pass and continuing south has been in really good condition. Uh, no snow, very very few blowdowns, no overgrowth. The water crossings are just itty bitty stream, super easy. Even the climbs, like there's a lot of ascent in a day but they're gradual, so it's been cruisy so far. Okay, let's go. Today I've been feeling really tired and I think maybe that's because yesterday I had like 
extra the amount of energy from having coffee <laughs> in town. Uh, but there were moments today where I was like walking down a hill and I could feel my eyelids like drooping and getting really sleepy. So during lunch, I kind of closed my eyes for a while, snoozed. And so now it's after lunch. We're gonna try to do, I think, six more miles to make it like a 18 mile day, so kind of a shorter day. Um, the reason for that is because tomorrow should be uh, more mellow, like less climbing, so we could do bigger miles tomorrow. And something else that I'm managing right now on trail is a very sore, like, right foot and ankle. I have a little bit of pain on the top of my foot and on the back and outer edge of my ankle. Um, but it kind of goes away a little bit as I warm up and walk on it. But just one, of, one more thing to kind of keep an eye on. But overall doing good, just a little, a little sleepy today. Alright, so we're trying to figure out how to cross this river. It's not a lot of great options, but we'll find somewhere. So we went downstream a bit. Joe balanced with his poles across these logs. And then I was a little sketched out by that. So I just put on my micro spikes and I forded through the water on the side of the logs. And uh, that seemed to work pretty well. today's campsite. This is where we're camping. It's only 4.30 but this is a great site and when you start hiking before 6 a.m. you get to end early. So I think we'll enjoy this spot. This is the dinner spot, Joe's Choice. A lovely sunny grassy valley and way over there that's our tent. This is what I imagine John Muir set up camp at with all of his sheep and his dog. 